Excellent. They're like super good. Super good on that one. Hello everyone. We are back to do our target drive. We have not done this drive in a very long time. Um, if you uh, go down below into the description, you'll see a playlist for this drive. And you'll see what it's done in past versions. So this unprotected left is normally the point where it would um, be most likely to uh, mess up and there's no traffic coming. And so it uh, did just fine. <laughs> but um, unprotected lefts are much better in the 12.4 series of updates. I've noticed they are much less likely to cause a disengagement. I'm noticing these harsh shadows on the road are causing a lot of hesitancy. And so it just seems likely that it seems also that this is related to the 12 that 4 that 3 that these um, shadows are causing all these little little bit of hesitancy which is unfortunate because I'm gonna be using this in a week going up to Michigan and this type of stuff where well, my mom doesn't like it and she just rather have me drive and if it does that stuff constantly then I'm not gonna be able to use full self driving but she, oh bird <laughs> wow that bird was like a half a foot from hitting my car. This is good behavior. It's slowing down like way ahead of time going down the hill. Normally it would wait until it gets down the hill and then slow down. It's gonna pass this car and it could have it could have kept on accelerating a little bit more there and kind of angled out to the left and got around but that was overall really good. So this route, I've never done zero interventions before. I don't believe I have at least. Probably because of speed adjustments. But um, I have done zero disengagements several times. Uh, the last time I think I did it was not zero disengagements. I can't remember, that was a version 11 version. I haven't done this entire route to Asheville in version 12 yet. Like that right there, it just breaked. I, I can't problem is I can't look at the screen at the same time because you have to look forward. Hey guys, just trying this out at OBS Studio to record my screen so I can go over this. But, um, let's see if this works. So, as I said, it slowed down. We're replaying this. We look really closely. See where that shadow is? I think you can see my cursor. Right where the shadow is right here. So pay attention to this. This is this part on the screen right here. See how that flickers in and out? Sped up. It could be the school zone. Look right how the school zone kind of shows as a um. You can um. Where's my cursor? Right here. You can see how that kind of shows up on on the on the ground as something. But it seems like right there, you can see how this kind of the shadow makes it flickers in and out right here. So that appears to be what caused it to slow down. That did not happen on 12 that 4 that 2. So I can't see if it's showing something on the screen. So guys, if you can use your Hawkeyes and go look at the screen for me, everything's in 4K. Then um, we can see if there is any. You know, is there something going on here that um, is causing causing it to? Um, I thought, thought I heard some beeping noise, uh, causing it to like break. I'm pretty sure you know it, it usually indicates something on the screen for if it's breaking like that or swerving. And to me, it's the shadows that are causing that. The which do humans actually do that? Do they see a shadow on the road and it breaks? The weird thing is, if this is trained on human data, theoretically it's doing this because humans have done it. Which is weird because I've never braked for a shadow on the road before. Maybe, like, I've slowed down for why something way up ahead that looks like a mirage. And it kind of, like, it looks like something is in the road, but it actually isn't. But I've never, like, you know, short pulse brake before, it's like, or swerved or something because of a shadow. Like this seems to be slowing down. It, they, I think they've tweaked the 
the safety, if you will. Like, they've tweaked it to where it's more conservative, it slows down sooner, you know, it doesn't give as much of a gap, which, which I've noticed they've done in the past for wide releases. They've tweaked it to where it makes it, you know, it's statistically more safe, but, like, less comfortable, which is unfortunate. Let's see what it does here. So, I, I said in the past, so if you don't, not familiar, these dotted lines, uh, see, since we don't have a solid line, this means you can pass the car. You can, you can, you can pass this car in front. Now that you have the solid line, I can no longer pass. And... As a human driver, no, I have done that on this road. So, uh, it's usually for a tractor or something that's going really, really slow. But also, there's been cars that go 35 mile an hour on this road. It's a 55. Like, why? Why would you go so slow? But um, so right here, I can pass again. I think the, the car. I would be really surprised if like we could test this. Like, if a car in front of me was going 25 mile an hour, would my car pass it? Have, would they purposely restrict out that? Like, not allow people who pass on the road? I don't know. What? Oh, crap. <laughs> I was like, why is it doing that? It's because I had to do a waypoint to make sure it went the direction I wanted it to go. Okay. Fortunately, it rerouted quickly, and uh, there was no one behind me, so that didn't cause any issues. But obviously, we're not going to count that as an intervention because I had to change the, change the route on the street. So the car was doing the right thing. I just had the wrong route. <laughs> okay, something to note at this intersection up here is that if the light is uh, red, past versions on version... Maybe it did do this on 11.3.6, but it's not 11.4. 12.4, sorry, 12.3.6. But if the light was red, like it is now, the car needs to come to a complete stop. Uh, the last version, it would just fly through the red light. Which I know people do that, but that's illegal. You can't do that. And maybe it was because of the traffic, it's why it stopped. I don't know. It's actually good to go. Actually, no. Well, yeah, it would have been good to go. Nice. Okay. Yeah, see, that did it really well. So that's improved over the last time I did this route. Forgot what version that was, but we'll just go based on the playlist. This is why I have the playlist. So you can go back every any previous version. They all, most of them have chapters, and you can click each spot where it messed up. Right here, it used to just change lanes for no reason into the left lane. Right about where the speed limit sign is. And I'm pretty sure that was fixed in the previous version. But again, stuff like that would happen. But now, again, it seems to be fixed. So, there's all these little improvements that add up. Especially with version 12 that really made such good improvements. I guess we're starting a streak here at the zero intervention drives. I, I don't expect, the thing is, once, once we get to Asheville, I very much expect disengagements up there. I did not expect a disengagement getting off the highway, where, um, there, um, the first drive last time. That, that was really rather disappointing, because everything else of the drive was pretty good. Like, it was really good. Uh, except for the little swerving for the shadows in the road. That was really the only negative thing. Even this right here, really good. It didn't overly slow down. That that be handled that really well. This was kind of dumb behavior. It, it knew this car was going slower and still sped up to catch up to it instead of getting over it. Now it could have got over in the lane. But it's choosing not to for some reason. We're in the average profile. This sets it's just not getting over it, which is unusual for average. It would have normally got over right there. Especially we have we actually do need to get over in the left lane where we're going. 
So, I'm not sure why it's being a little bit more conservative there. This is actually a little bit annoying that it's still staying behind this car. Like, I would have passed this car a long time ago. This person is keep consistently going below the speed limit. I've had plenty of opportunities to pass it, but the car just doesn't want to for some reason. So this is a double divergent timing, what do you call it, um, going across the highway here. And this is where it needs to go ahead and get in this left lane where that white car is going. Wouldn't surprise me, they're also going to the same place I'm going. Mm, seemed to break a little bit too hard right there. It really shouldn't change lanes in the middle of the intersection. Yeah, that, that to me is not great behavior. Oh, it's also... Uh, we're, uh, we're with the wrong route. It had the correct route earlier in the drive and it changed it. That's not a disengagement because it changed the route on me. The correct route is this way. There you go. Okay. So the correct route to come up to this light here and then and then go. Which is a little bit annoying that it did that. But um yeah, we're not uh not counting as a disengagement. So it needs to get over here and get in this lane now. It's a blinking yellow, which I don't remember this being a blinking yellow last time I went through here. Maybe it is like in the morning. I'm pretty sure in the afternoon once traffic picks up, it's not. Also, this now turned red and this car is in the middle. Of I'm glad the car is being so patient here on this light. And yeah, this is exactly where I would have gone. Once this white car goes, then it's good to get go. Excellent. They're like super good. Super good on that one. So yeah, we had, um, well, we got to get past this intersection up here before I say it. Because there's no lines in the road right here. So it's messed up. It's gotten in the middle lane. Oh, is it really going to do it? No, oh, come on. No, okay, it corrected itself. What? That wasn't a stop sign there. I'm gonna go ahead and snapshot that because that was not a stop, a place that needed a stop. Also, it's going. Yeah, we're gonna go in here. So the the route used to go is right in here. Um, it's just I did a different GPS route than I did in the past. Okay, everyone. So yeah, while the very end was it, <laughs> it didn't end spectacularly because it thought there was a stop sign there for some reason. Um, yeah, this was a uh, zero intervention drive, for sure. It just had I just had a couple poor routing decisions, but for sure this was a zero intervention drive to here. Um, yeah, that's uh, that might be the only one we get today. We'll see. I I, I suspect we'll at least get one more. Uh, Asheville, going up to Asheville is going to be a challenge. I'm not going to record getting to Asheville. I'm going to record once we're in Asheville. And we're going to start with our blind turn test. See you once we're there. Thanks for watching, everyone.